Hello guys, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Amit and today we are going to create customer profile dashboard. It's a part of CRM analytics and we would be using Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition. So I explain you what the dashboard is all about. This dashboard tracks various events and activities of the customer. So customer profile, we would like to see customer so they, if you look at their multiple section of the whole dashboard, it's the same data element, but the multiple ways of viewing it. So first part is your pivot, where we look at the number of customer, the revenue we receive from the customer, and total number of orders are placed. Now this first pivot does not have any dimension, it's just a count. Second is your, we would like to see customer, number of customers by customer segments. You've got different customer segments we can see over here. Similarly, we'd like to see years as customers. Uh, and third one is your income level. So income level and number of customers which belong to specific income label. There are three pie chart give you three different views of your customer data. In addition to this, we have got bubble chart. Bubble chart is one more nice way of presenting your data. The size of the bubble uh, shows that the bigger the bubble, the more the revenue. If you are using revenue as major, so in this you use three majors. You get y axis, x axis, y axis, and the size of bubble is controlled by one major. And in addition, the color is used as a category. So I'm using number of customer with respect to revenue, uh, unit cost, and number of all customers. Similarly, I am looking another part of my dashboard. I'll show you step by step all of them. Okay, so I've got three more bubble chart. Let's see one by one in detail. In order to build this dashboard, the first step I need to recognize how many majors or facts I needed and how many dimension I need. If you see when I analyze the requirement, I found we need four dimension uh, members like customer segment, income level. Uh, year as custom and region and I need four member revenue number of customer number of order and actual unit price So first I select dimension So I already log into my system I have a it is running in my VMware OBS server is running on my VMware so I go to my browser and create new analysis I'm using a sample basic RPD in this example and we continue this so the example I'm going to show you you can reuse the same example sample base so I need dimension from customer so I need customer segment customer income level and years as customer and finally uh, I need customer region. I got four dimension. Then I need a majors. I need revenue. And in addition, to this I need number of orders, customer, and actual unit price. So I use. Simple calculation C20, which is my actual unit price, and I need counts. So, count I found over here number of order and number of customer. Let me rename this. So I go to right click and edit formula. I'm going to give a custom heading number of orders. I like to remove uh, the additional information. Make my label simple to understand. Similarly, customer with order number of customer. I rename this edit formula and I write a number of customers. 
so I got measures I got dimension I'm ready to display a view the default would be, view would be tabular view in your OBI I remove this tabular view and add a new view first view I need a cross tabular view called pivot and pivot what I need in pivot I like to see all the measures I don't need a dimension so there's a excluded section it means your data would be there your column would be there in query but it won't show up this excluded section if I don't need any dimension I'm going to remove it I put in excluded and here I need uh, in my pivot I need number of customer revenue in order place number of customer revenue and order place this is my first view number of customer thousand the revenue I receive and number of order placed this is one view in addition to this pivot view I need a graph view so I use a pie chart and I display pie chart next to my pivot I drag and drop and put behind pivot I added this in this pie chart I need customer by segment let's see the requirement step number one is done we create a pivot for customer revenue and number of order second is we create a pie chart customer by segment so I use customer segment and number of customers the number of customer I pre keep it and rest I remove from my major section and here I need a customer segment so drag and drop customer segment graph prompt I remove I don't need a graph prompt graph prompt appears as a drop down this is my first view number of customers you can further change the header and other properties number of customer by segment Property option I'm leaving now. We'll see later. Number of customer segment. I need a number of customer by year. So I modify this. A major remains same. It turns out to be a year. I can have nesting of dimension as well, but I keep only one dimension as per our requirement. Number of customers. This is your second view. right so you keep adding a new uh, line chart or pie chart or bar chart I'm going to add you the same and I take number of customer here and region customer by income label this is my next analysis So I need a, a customer by year. I use year as customer and number of customer. Number of customer, year as customer. Third one would be by income label. This is fine. So I got second view. I can place them together. Formatting in your hand, how would you like to show it? You can change the font, color, size, properties. All the property you can change from here. Right, for example, I'm making this smaller making my pie chart smaller so that we can you know place all of them in one window similarly you create similarly you create a third one you just change the income label okay. next step you create a bubble chart so you see the color is being determined by bubble chart needs a three majors x and y uh, access member major and dimension so I, in this example colors are being shown by customer segment and my x axis is unit cost unit price revenue is my y axis x y axis and x z axis is your number of customer or other way around the the bigger the bubble uh, the more the number of customers the smaller the bubble the less number of customers bubble size is controlled by number of customers unit price every number of customers let's prepare the bubble chart so I switch to my view create a one more view over here 
uh, chart of type of chart is bubble chart and I need three majors so by default I remove all the majors I need unit revenue and number of customer number of customer in my bubble size units and revenue and number of customer by customer segment by customer segment unit price revenue number of customer and other member which are appearing drop down and remove them this has got my um, bubble chart this bubble chart is with respect to my um, number of customer by segment okay I would create another bubble chart with the same majors and rather than use segment I use number of year as customer a major will remain same only color would vary or income label right so when you create all of them I already prepared this is how it look like eventually in the same fashion you prepare it so eventually this is how it look like I use customer segment I need multiple ways the default view would be tabular view okay but I would use this with multiple graphs and bubble chart this is my final view uh, my pivot my three pie chart by segment by now here as customer income level and three pie a bubble chart where a majors revenue and units my x and y axis are same the bubble size is also same revenue unit price revenue unit price on all three only I use a dimension by number of customers by segment and by different verticals so use number customer by segment by year and finally by income label this is the final view so once your view got created you are going to place them in a chart dashboard so by default you get a my dashboard it is same as you get my desktop uh, when you create a new user in your windows I create a edit analysis create new page the two pages are av available by default I click on this and I call this customer profile in next example I show you how to make this interactive I create a one more page it's fairly simple you can divide to vertical and horizontal in terms of column and section okay. and drag and drop and place your major over here drag and drop place your analysis over here so I save this under my my folder under practice my customer profile drag and drop in addition to this you can add a title format multiple activities you can do it right now I use a dashboard with these elements in next example I show you how do you make the dashboard dynamic by passing the argument you can change all the aspect by passing argument so that's it for today should you have any question please feel free to write to us our site is www.bsp training and bsp solutions.com thank you